all right hello guys this is your girl nancy i'm back again with another video today's video is going to be one of those videos that is very important because guess what it is the one problem that is causing america billions of dollars each day we have senior citizens adult especially in the adult population who are fallen they're not only falling, they're falling, they're breaking their hips, they're breaking their knees, it's causing an injury, it's causing the country money. Also, falls can kill people. There are people who have fallen, got hematomas, and died from falling. So it is a very serious business, you guys. So we're going to address all the different things that I have that I know personally that can help you at home to keep you safe. So some of the items that I'm going to mention here, I think I have about one, two, three, four, five, six different items that I want to talk about in this video. I'm going to keep it very short and sweet, like always, so we can get to the meat of the video. The first thing that I have on here is, I think, one of the biggest ways that we can use to prevent falls, the use of adaptive equipment in your home. Now, what is adaptive equipment and what am I talking about? Things like the use of canes at home, the use of walkers at home are all adaptive equipment, the use of things like reachers and shoehorns and sock aids, things that will prevent you from falling in the first place. A lot of my patients always tell me that they fell because they were going from point one to B without the use of a walker or cane and they tripped on something and they fell, okay? If you do have an assistive device or adaptive equipment such as a walker or a cane at home, please, 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 please use it. If you feel like you don't have it but you can use one, even a rollator, you can use one, definitely consult an occupational therapist or a physical therapist and we can definitely assess you and recommend one for you that you can use at home to keep you safe. Another adaptive equipment or adaptive device that's also very good to use at home is shower chairs, shower benches, things like that, okay? If you have a walk-in shower and you, you're taking a shower and you're standing in the shower, make sure that it is safe, your shower is, that your shower is full proof, meaning that it has bars in the shower, meaning that if you don't have a seat, that you get a seat, a shower seat that you can keep in there. If you don't have a walk-in shower, you can still use something like a shower bench, which goes over the tub. You can slide into the tub and you can take a shower. Another thing that a lot of people also don't take a notice of is where the placement of the shower head. Now, if the shower head is too high up and I'm sitting on a chair, it's gonna be very difficult for me to reach it or I may have to stand up and get it, which can increase fall risk. So make sure that you have your shower head in a location that is accessible, that's easily accessible so that you can reach it when you're taking a shower. Things like bars in the showers is so needed. Make sure that you have bars to help you get into the shower and also bars to help you get out. Bars in the shower that you can hold on if you do need to stand up so it can keep you safe. Another thing that you can add in the shower is one of those um, non-slip and mats, especially showers can become slippery with the soaps and all that. So make sure that you have one in your shower to keep you safe and keep to keep you from sliding in your shower. When it comes to the toilet, the same thing. A lot of my patients have fallen because whatever surface that they are standing up from was maybe too low for them to stand up from and they've tried to stand or sit and they have fallen. So make sure that your toilet is also at a decent height. You don't have to, of course, you don't have to get a whole new toilet. If you already have a toilet that you're already using, you can get something that you can put on top of it, like a commode on top of that, so it can bring the height up a little bit and that way you can be a lot safer when you're getting on and off the toilet. The same thing when it comes to the bar, you can put bars around your sink, you can put bars around your toilet, just to keep you a little bit more safe, so that that way you are not, if you do, you know, if you do stumble or lose your balance, you have something to hold on to. So that's what I'll say when it comes to getting adaptive devices and adaptive equipment for your home. Another good place to place some of your bars or, you know, something to hold on to is also your hallways, okay? 
the ways where you walk okay so make sure that you have and also get if you can even get a chair and put it especially with those people who have poor endurance if you have chairs at different parts in your house you can sit down when you're walking if your knees give out or something like that you can have something to sit on and take a rest before you continue to walk or if you have a bar in the hallway you can have something that you can hold on to these are all things that we don't think about and i used to not think about these things before i became an occupational therapist how important the little things can really help keep us safe in our home right and keep us safe keep us home a lot longer so we don't have injuries that's going to debilitate us that's going to take our independence from us so definitely think about those things another thing that can cause a lot of falls are carpets yes you guys carpets and rugs so if you have a rug or a carpet that is not stable or stabilized on the floor you definitely have to get some kind of rug or carpet stabilizer to stabilize your carpets or rugs to the floor so they're not moving or slipping when you walk on them this is very very important i want to add some of that in this video so you can have an idea of how that looks like so the rug rug tapes rug grippers all of that stuff you can get that and you can use that under your carpets or rugs to keep them from sliding and gliding okay i don't want you sliding and gliding at home and falling so definitely get that if you have that another one that's also very simple that a lot of people don't think about is the slip um is the slip proof socks i get the non-slip socks so non-slip socks if you work in the hospitals or nursing home you definitely know what this is i use it on my patients all the time if you don't have it on we are not going nowhere okay so that's something that you could also have at home you can get it on amazon i'm going to leave all the link down below you can get it on amazon and you can wear those when you are home and walking around just to have a little bit more support or if you have a really good like house slippers that have the non-slip stuff on the on the on the bottom of the slippers or the shoe or whatever that you're wearing at home make sure whatever you're wearing on your foot is non-slip and is going to keep you safe from slipping and sliding on your floors or your carpet so that's something that you have to think about and that's something that you have to keep in mind okay some socks and some shoes do make you glad more than others so just keep that in mind when you are purchasing shoes and socks and things like that and make sure that they are going to be safe for you to use when you are home okay all right another thing i have two more things and then we're done okay another thing that i have on here another thing that i have on here that's super important is night lights i actually had a patient not too long ago she was in her 90s but she was very healthy she was walking around with the walker she was doing great and then one night she got up she went to the bathroom she didn't turn on the light for whatever reason um she just decided to walk in the bathroom with no light she had a door open so she thought she was going to be good from the light that was outside the, the um that the bathroom and she couldn't really see and she ended up slipping and falling in the bathroom and breaking her hip and her knee it was just so sad because she never recovered from that fall and she ended up passing away so that's what i mean by the certain things that we can do and put in place to prevent us from falls and one of the things was getting a night light in that situation if she had one of those automatic night lights that when you walk into the room or I have one in my bathroom <laughs> so it's always on when it's dark in the bathroom my night light comes on in my bathroom and I have one also in my hallway when I come in um, when I go out at night and I come into my house I have the night light that lights up because it's like one of those motion ones it will light up for me I have one in my room so night lights are so inexpensive and a very great way to prevent falls if you need a link of the ones that I use I can leave them down below but that's something very simple that you can easily install to provide an extra um vision uh, for you okay to light up the area so you do not fall okay and the last thing that i have on my list is something that i discovered when i started working in a nursing home and i'm like everybody should be wearing this okay um but this is the hip protectors 
So hip protectors are things that we use on patients who are at fault, very severe fall risk, meaning that this is a patient that's always fallen but haven't broken anything yet. Or maybe they have broken something and we want to try to prevent them from getting injured. We will put the hip protectors on them to prevent them from getting injured. So this is something that you can get on Amazon and I'm going to leave a link down below so you can get one for yourself. And if you have uh, a parent or if you know someone that's always fallen or that you think it's a fault risk that's something that they can incorporate and have them wear when they are at home or going out or whatever so that they can better protect themselves if and when a fall does occur so definitely definitely go ahead and make sure that you guys are fall proof in your houses and the places that you live whether you live in assistant living or whatever some of these places that I've been to you would think that a nursing homes and assistant living are fall proof but I've been to some, certain facilities where I'm like this is not safe for, for an older adult to be living in especially someone who have had a fall before so make sure that these are some of the things that you have to think about and also look at when you're looking for places for your parents or for your spouse to live at that the apartment or the bathrooms and all of that stuff make sure that they are fall proof so that they can be as safe as possible in their environment and that was the end of the video if you enjoy the video and if you want to see more tips from me from that occupational therapist definitely go ahead and let me know what other tips that you would like to see so we can continue to just keep our beloved patients safe if they are at home or if they are in a nursing home or assistant living so that was the end of the video i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys